Hello everybody, welcome to another free to play Friday! This is One Night Hot Springs. Um, I'm not really sure what to expect from this one. Um, I, I never actually know what to expect from these, to be honest, but it looked cute when I downloaded it. And that's all I know. Oh my god, it is cute. Look at this art style. Holy crap. I just don't know, if, is it a visual novel? I don't know what it is, so... Who on earth could be calling me? Oh my god, <laughs> the little noise! Beep beep! Haru, it's been so long since I've talked to you. Sorry for calling so suddenly, you're not busy, are you? Not busy at all! How have you been, Manami? I've been wonderful, thanks, and that's why I wanted to call you. My birthday's coming up, and since it's my 20th, my parents said it, uh, they would let me go on a trip with my friends. So my plan is to go on a trip to the hot springs with my two best friends. And of course, that includes you. My parents will pay for everything, so don't worry about the cost. Hot springs? But you know that I'm... I know, I know, which is why I'm calling to talk to you first before deciding anything. Haru, you're my oldest and closest friend. It would mean so much to me if you were with me to celebrate my 20th birthday. But I also want you to enjoy yourself to the fullest. So let me know what I can do to make you as comfortable as possible. But it's been years since I've been to a public bath, let alone a hot spring. I know, which is why it's a good chance. You'll be with me. So if anything or anyone bothers you, you can tell me. I'm not really worried about me being uncomfortable, it's more everyone else. It'll be fine. No, Nobody will pay attention. They will. Haru, nobody cares as much as you think they do, I promise. I wonder what it is. Like, maybe she's got, like... Um... A disability of some kind? Like, a handy... Uh, something... Like, I don't know. Like, maybe she's... Missing a limb or something? I don't, I'm not sure. Please come for me? Yeah, let's do it. Fine, if they have reserved baths, I'll go. Yes! It's going to be the best birthday ever! I'll call you again when everything's been sorted out. I love the noise. He always hangs up so fast. I can't believe I agreed to the hot springs. What should I do? How do women behave when they go to hot springs together? Or wonder if maybe... I have another theory. I don't want to... Let's just see how things play out. Let's see what the search terms hot springs with female friends get me. Oh, an article titled, When going to the hot springs with your girlfriends. You don't have to care that much about makeup, so I should worry about it a little? Don't worry about bus size. Well, I guess I don't have to really have a bus to worry about. But don't forget to shave. Wait, shave? Which parts? How much? Ugh, I just don't know. I'll just have to figure it out as I go. I'll just wait until Manami calls with more details. This is enough internet for me today. Guess I'll turn in for today. Okay. I'm really here. What on earth am I doing? I'm not really prepared for this. But I'm here now. I just have to power through this. You can do it, Haru. Haru, over here! Where? Hi, Manami. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, wow! Haru, I love your hair! Thanks, I decided to grow it out. It looks amazing. Thanks, Manami. Hey, Manami, don't forget about me. Oh, sorry, Erika. This is Haru, my childhood friend. And Haru, this is Erika, my friend from high school. The last name's Nagoda, in case you were wondering. Or Nagata. Nagata? Nagata. I'm Haru Suzuki. It's nice to meet you. You can speak to me more casually, you know. We're the same age. We're the same age? Yep, or close enough. Erika's 20. Yeah, I heard from Minami that you went to the same preschool. Yes, er, I mean, yeah. Wow, you really need to loosen up. A dip in the hot springs will probably do you some good. 
Manami, you want to go check us in or what? Right, let's go then. Welcome. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing old lady voice. Hello, I have a reservation under Tachibana. Yes, we have your reservation. Would you please fill out this registration card? Haru, Erika, could you fill out your information? Yeah, sure. Okay. Time to fill out this form. Where's my name? Probably need to write my legal name. This is what I thought. This is, okay, this is what I thought we were gonna be. And my legal gender, too. That's what I thought it was gonna be. Okay, okay. Interesting. Let's see. Let's see how this story fills out. So I understand why Haru was so like afraid at first. Um, and I like that Minami doesn't, you know, isn't concerned at all. I understand why Haru is. So I'm interested to see how this plays out. I have no idea. Nineteen. Address and occupation. Everything else. I'm finished. Me too. Thanks. Here's the registration card. Thank you, just let me. Hmm? Mr. Haruto Suzuki? Um. That's me, but is there a problem? I see. Your room is the Ginkgo room on the second floor. Please enjoy your stay. Oh, poor Haru. She's already embarrassed. Let's go to our room then! I'm gonna go buy a drink first. My throat is like a desert. I see you back at the room. Haru, you okay? Yep, you don't have to worry about me. Let's go to the room. Haru. Oh. Nice! It's a proper tatami room. Tatami is so much trouble to claim, but I love how it looks. I love tatami too. It has such a nice smell. I just want to lie down and sleep on it. Go ahead. Me and Suzuki here will just head to the hot springs while you are snoozing away. No, don't go without me. I want to go to the hot springs too. I'm just kidding. Though I do plan on heading to the hot springs ASAP. Too much studying hunched over at my desk lately. I need to give my stiff shoulders a break. Hot springs. We should get changed first, I guess? The Yukata should be around here somewhere. It's hard for me to, like, say all these words, like, you know, um, trying to get it on the first go. Man, not here. Or here. Or... Found them. One for each of us. Oh, maybe they're cute. I wonder if they're for sale. Let's get changed then. I'll change in the bathroom. What's up with... Oh. I'm guessing Erica probably knows, but I don't know. Thank goodness the Yukata are unisex. I just hope that it's big enough for me. Looks like it should fit me. Fine. Yukata are all straight lines, so not having a waist or much of a chest is better. So it's perfect for me. I hope I can tie it well. Hmm. Okay, that's not a good bow. Let me try that again. Maybe this is a little better? Oh, cute. I'm okay with this. Oh, this is so cute. Sorry for the wait. Oh, looking pretty good. Thanks. Yeah, if I didn't know better, I would have thought... Erica? I told you not to say. It's okay. Haru... It's better than the other possible reaction. Let's get going. I need to check the times for the reserved baths. What, you're not heading into the women's bath with us? That would be a bit too... you know. I don't think it'd be that big of a deal. Erica, don't. It's fine. I want to check out the reserved baths anyway. Come on, let's go. 
This has me a little nervous for her. Haru, Erica and I are going to head in then. You don't have to worry about me. I'll see you again at dinner time. That's what she said, Manami. Let's go already. Uh, don't grab my arm. See you later, Suzuki. <sighs> Making Manami worry. Gotta stop that. First, I should find out how to reserve the bath. Excuse me. How may I help you? How do I book the reserved baths? You mean the family baths? Please head to your left and write your name and room on the reservation list. Thank you very much. The family baths are to your right. Yes, thank you. I came here, but... Is it really okay for someone like me to head into a family bath? Can you even use family baths on your own? Just be taking away a time slot from an actual family. What should I do? Um... Yeah, let's do it. It's just... It's fine. I guess it should be okay if I don't take too long. It'd be a shame if I came to a hot spring but I didn't actually go in. And it's been so long since I've been at a proper one. Okay, I'm going to reserve a time slot. Let's see. They're all booked? Are you serious? I was trying so hard to encourage myself. Excuse me. Sorry, I was just leaving. Would you like to book the family baths? I was going to, but they're all booked. Oh, no, I sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. May I suggest you enjoy our splendid women's baths instead? We have vase-shaped bathtubs which you can enjoy privately, like the family baths. If you would like, I can show you to the baths. No. Is something the matter? No, I just... Hmm... I would have... Haru should be proud of... of... of herself. I, I, she, and she's worried about it. I feel like things would be resolved better if... if... <sighs> it's easy for me to say I've never been in a situation like this. And, and, and I won't be. So I, I don't know what to say. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to give an explanation. And we'll just see what happens. The truth is, I think that if I go into the women's baths, it might make the other patrons uncomfortable. That's why I wanted to use the family baths. I see. I understand your concerns. However, as it is, you won't be able to enjoy the baths in this wonderful hot spring town. I can't allow that. What? I can't allow one of our guests to miss out on our fantastic hot springs. No, it's my own problem, so... No, you come enjoy the hot springs, so I will ensure that you can. You came to enjoy, okay. Would you please tell me your name and room? It's Haru, Haruto Suzuki in the Ginkgo room. That would be Mr. Haruto Suzuki then? Miss would be fine. Please forgive me. Now if you would please wait here for a moment. Now I'm even causing trouble for the staff. Guess I should just wait. I apologize for the wait. No, oh, that was hardly any wait at all. With your permission, we would like to upgrade your party to a room with an open-air bath. What? Would that be acceptable? I don't want to cause any fuss. It is our way of apologizing for the fully booked family baths. We want all of our guests to enjoy our hot springs. It's also a personal wish from a staff member who loves this hot spring town. Will you accept the upgrade? Hey. Is it really okay? Of course! Then... Yes, please. Thank you very much. If you would follow me to accompany to your room. Allow me to accompany you to your room. I cannot speak. Cannot speak. This is the Azalea room. I don't know how to thank you. It was nothing. I hope you enjoy your stay. 
a nice person. Says she would tell Minami and Nag uh, Nagata about the change in rooms too. I didn't think people would be that accommodating. Maybe the world is kinder than I thought it was. Let's check out the open air bath then. That's awesome. This is really, really nice. The view is amazing. Don't even want to think about how much it would cost normally. It's absolutely gorgeous. Is it really okay to get an upgrade like this for free? Ah, Stop worrying, Haru! The staff said it was okay, so I'm going to enjoy this. I need to wash first. Oh, I love the smell of the shampoo. Chrysanthemum? Chrysanthemum? I don't know how to say that word, guys. It's really relaxing. And this is a charcoal soap? Cool. Now to try out the conditioner. Now to wash it all off. And head into the bath. Oh, wow. I can feel the knots in my muscles loosening. I can't even remember how long it's been since I've soaked in a real hot spring water. I can never afford to go to a place like this myself. And I can't go into the regular hot springs. All I've got is my bathtub at home. I wish I could stay in here forever. That's so relaxed. Like, I want to be in one now, man. I want to relax like this. Guys, you know I hate all those ellipses. I hate that. That was a good soak. I should get dressed. What a wonderful bath. Thank you, staff lady. Wow, time passed pretty quickly. Minami and Nagata should be back soon. We're back. Hey, Suzuki. I heard from the staff that we were upgraded to a room with an open air bath. Yeah, because the family baths were all booked. Wow, that's so nice of them. The staff didn't just tell you to go to the women's baths? Erica? Um... Let's be honest. She did, but when I explained, she was very understanding. Whoa, that's really cool of her. Yeah. I was surprised, but really happy. Did you two enjoy the hot springs? Yep, it was really nice. Yeah, I've never been to such a proper expensive place before. You should have come with us. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, Haru, I think you've got something in your hair. Let me get that for you. It's okay, I'll get it myself. You don't even know where it is. You can tell me. But it would be easier if I took it. There, I got it. Thanks. Hmm... Is that how it is? Is what how it is? Nothing, nothing. When is dinner getting here? Knock. Excuse me. Good evening. Please allow me to set the table for you. What would you like to drink? What do you two want? Uh, how about beer for everyone? I'm underage, so I'll just have oolong tea. Right, right. Two beers and one oolong tea, please. Please enjoy your meal. Minami, are you okay with beer? I've never actually drunk before. You'll be fine. It's your 20th, so you should try a bit at least. If you don't like it, I'll drink it for you. More importantly, this dinner. This looks amazing. Let's eat. I'm so hungry now. I'm so hungry now. Oh my goodness, look at it. I requested tofu nabe so we can all share. Don't worry, Erica, it's all vegetarian. Boo! <laughs> You're vegetarian, Nagata? Yeah, so it's really tough eating out. Can't even get a salad without worrying about it having animal products inside. Really? Isn't it just vegetables? <laughs> You'd be surprised. There's stuff like bacon and gelatin sometimes. Yeah, Manami brought me a potato salad with gelatin and bacon before. But I know better now. Anyway, the drinks are here, so we should toast. You're the birthday girl, so go ahead. Okay, then. 
Thank you for celebrating my birthday with me. It means a lot to me to have my two best friends here. A toast to my friends. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. Now that we've got that over with, let's eat. <laughs> my attempt at trying to make everybody's voice at the same time. Is tempura miss? Uh, what is that word? Uh, my take. This tempura my take is so crispy. Oh man, this tofu is so soft. It tastes even better with a bit of the pink salt. Oh man, this tofu so soft. That was delicious. I'm so full. Of course you are. How many bowls of rice was that? I don't know. I'm at my limit to You two are idiots. Haru isn't an idiot. Neither is Manami. Such idiots. My body feels really heavy. <sighs> ah, she fell asleep. Suzuki, can you help me carry her to the futon? Uh, okay. She's surprisingly heavy. Because she does sports, it's the muscle. Really? I didn't know that. Though I can imagine it. She's always so full of energy. She went out like a light today, though. I think it was the beer. Yeah, trust Manami to be such a lightweight. It's a good opportunity for me, though. Good opportunity? I wanted to talk with you. But Manami was being all sensitive about it. So I figured I'd ask when Manami wasn't around. I'm not great with this sort of thing, to be honest, but I really just want to understand it a bit better. And you can tell me to stop anytime if you don't want to talk, so... Mind if we chat for a bit? Nagata's Manami's friend, so I'm sure she really does just have good intentions. I haven't really properly talked about this to anyone before. What should I tell her? Um... Let's just see first. What do you want to talk about? I'm just a bit curious since you're the first transgender person I've ever met. Might not be true. Huh? You might have met other transgender people before, but you just didn't notice. Maybe. To be honest, if Manami hadn't told me, I wouldn't have known you were transgender, Suzuki. Can I just call you Haru? You can call me Erika. I don't mind. Haru, then. Is that like your transgender name? Or, no. It's a nickname from when I was a kid. Oh, so a nickname from you were, when you were still a guy. <sighs> hmm. How do we want to approach this? Let's try... This is tough, man. Man, this... They, they, they get put in rough predicaments on how to respond to people that don't understand, huh? Ooh, this is... This is tough. Um... Let's just say I wasn't a guy before. It's not like I was a guy before. I've always been a girl. Just my appearance doesn't completely match who I am. Sorry, I shouldn't have phrased it that way. What was your name again? I, I heard it at check-in. Haruto, right? You probably shouldn't ask that th sort of thing to transgender people. Why? Asking for a name someone isn't using now is kind of like denying who they are now, so... Oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean it that way. So, could you forget it? It's okay. I actually like the name Haru. It's unisex. I'd like to change my legal name to Haru if I can. Oh, I guess since you haven't changed your name, you can't use Haru on official documents and stuff. Yep. I guess your legal gender is still... Yep. 
It must be hard on you. Can't you change it? It's a bit tough. I would need to get gender affirmation surgery and be sterilized. What? I mean, I guess gender affirmation surgery is cool if you want to change your body anyway. But you need to be sterilized? Yeah, though in some other countries you can change your gender without doing either. I didn't know. I didn't know that either. Yeah, there are a lot of requirements. You also have to be above 20, not married currently, and have no kids who are minors. Jesus Christ. Wait, why do you have to be unmarried and not have kids? Well, for the marriage bit, because if you change gender, it becomes a same-sex marriage. And that's illegal in Japan. Shit, is it really? I didn't realize it, it, it still was. Like, I need to understand. So I just looked it up and... and yeah, it's it's not like same-sex marriage is not legalized in Japan, but like steps have happened in the last couple of years that are hopefully putting pressure on the right people to move that direction. But yeah, it's not recognized in Japan yet. That sucks. And for the children bit, apparently it would be confusing for them or something. What the hell? I know, I didn't make the law. Might be better though. Some wards allow same-sex partnership now, after all. I didn't realize it was so bad. Sorry for asking you so many questions. Hope I didn't make you uncomfortable. Let's thank her for listening. It's fine, I'm actually happy. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing with me. Okay, I think that after I made you spill out all of that, I definitely owe you one. Huh? I talked to one of the attendants earlier. Apparently, while their official stance is that you should enter the baths for your legal gender, this is a question they're actually asked to write, asked quite often, and they decided that it was unofficially okay as long as you didn't bother other guests. There aren't too many guests today since it's a weekday. As she said that the bath would probably be empty around midnight. So? So nobody would have a problem if you went into the women's baths, because nobody would be in there. I can't just go in. Calm down, it'll be fine. But what if someone's there? The baths are big, we'll just keep away from them. But what if they look? They won't look, and even if they do, who cares? If anybody says anything, I'll beat them up. Please don't beat them up. It'll be fine. But but you were drinking earlier. That was hours ago. It's out of my system now. Come on, Haru. Don't you want to enter the women's baths? You're a woman too. You have the right. Erica. Fuck yeah, we're going to the baths. We're exercising our right as a woman. Okay, I'll go. But if anything happens, it'll be fine. Well, let's grab our towels and go. Wait, come on. Actually, I think I'll... Come on, you've made it all the way here already. I'll even check to make sure nobody else is inside. <sighs> all the keys are in the lockers. Nobody's in the hot springs. Come with me. Okay. All right. Don't worry, I'll change over here. I won't look or anything. Thanks. You can head in first to wash. See you later then. Wow. It's so nice in here. Water feels smoother than the one in the room somehow. That's because it's got a lot of minerals in it that are good for your skin. What do you think? Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Thanks for bringing me. I don't see what the big deal is. I don't understand why you didn't just come to the bath with Manami and me. You don't get it. What do I don't get? Or what don't I get? I can't word. Hmm. Uh, let's pretend for a moment that you're in... Let's go with, um... 
for gym class. Gym class in high school. You need to change into your gym uniform. Girls change in the changing room, boys change in the classroom. Where do you change? I'd go to the changing room with the rest of the girls. Of course you would. What if one of the boys tried to come with you? We'd probably all call him a pervert. But I mean, you look like a girl, Haru. But I'm not, at least not physically, not completely. And a lot of people aren't as lucky with the appearance as me. This isn't just pretend, is it? You're speaking from experience, aren't you? People like you know exactly where you belong, but people like me don't belong anywhere. We can't just enter bathrooms or change rooms or hot springs. If I went into a men's bathroom like this and was seen, I'd be told I was in the wrong washroom. But society tells me I can't use the women's bathroom either. It's the same for the hot springs. We have to watch out for ourselves, since nobody else will, even though we just want to live like everyone else. It must have been really tough for you in high school. My school wouldn't allow boys to wear anything but the male uniform. But I didn't act like... I didn't act like how they thought a boy should act. I got called a lot of names because of that. Yeah. High school students can be vicious. I was at an all-girls school, but things got pretty bad sometimes. Minami never said anything like that. Well, yeah, she's Minami. Nothing bad ever happens around her. But I was a bit of a delinquent. A bit of a delinquent? Wearing my uniform wrong, fighting with bullies, smoking in the toilets. You know, the usual. Er, I don't know how usual that is. Well, I got over that rebellious phase now, but I know kids can be pretty awful. Girls bullying isn't as obvious as cuts and bruises, but it sticks with you. Were you bullied too? It wasn't that bad. I didn't fit in. Manami was pretty much my only friend in high school, and we weren't even in the same class. My homeroom teacher said it was my fault for not trying to be nice, so I just stopped caring. That's awful. Right? But that's just how things are in high school. The people who don't fit in will never fit in. So it's better just to stop caring and enjoy yourself. With people who don't mind that you're different. Yeah. Sorry for that incredibly depressing speech. No, no. I'm really happy you shared that with me. I don't know why, but... I feel like somebody's lifted the weight off my shoulders. <laughs> then I'm glad I talked to you. Have you ever told Manami any of this? No. I could never tell her. She's done so much for me. It would just make her sad if she knew. Oh, wait. I'm sure of this now. You like Manami, don't you? If I do, I do. Yeah. You know that she's... You know. Right? Yeah, I know. She talks about her boyfriend a lot. Sounds like a really nice guy. I mean, I don't think there's any problem with that, okay? I dated a girl before, too. Really? Yeah, back when I was in high school, I dated somebody at my part-time job. So you're bi then? Bi? That you like both men and women. Maybe. To be honest, I don't really know. I don't care much for labels. But it's cool. You do you. Want to check out another bath? They've got a nice hot one in the cypress wood. Sure. I wonder how long this game goes. Ah, oh, that was great! Hot springs are the best at night when it's quiet. Yeah. Thank you for bringing me. <laughs> like I said, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna go grab a drink. What do you want? Oh, it's okay. I'm fine. Then I'll just choose for you. Wait here for a bit. Erica's an interesting person. But nice. 
I guess I should wait here. Oh, good evening. It was Miss Suzuki, yes? Did you perhaps have a chance to enjoy the women's baths? Uh, let's say yes. Yes? Well, only because I knew there was nobody else inside. But I wasn't the one that checked. My friend looked in the changing room for me, so... Ah, oh, yes, the baths are usually empty at this hour. It isn't uncommon for people who want to bathe alone to use the baths at this time. So I'm very pleased to hear that you could enjoy the baths. I hope you have a pleasant night. She knows, doesn't she? But she didn't say anything. You pretty much said it was okay for me to go into the women's baths. I'm really happy. Hey, got you some herb tea. Thanks. It tastes good. Right? When you're done drinking that, let's head back to our room. Okay. Okay, I'm tired as hell. So, I'll see you in the morning. Night. Night. Should get to sleep too. I think I'll have good dreams tonight. It's morning. Oh, look who finally decided to wake up. Huh? What time do you think it is? Time for breakfast? Breakfast was over ages ago. It's almost time to check out. What? I need to change. Calm down. Manabi's dealing with that, so you still have some time. Oh. I caused trouble for Manami again. Hey. Do you have, like, the world's lowest sense of self-worth or something? Huh? You caused trouble for Manami again? Are you kidding me? She just went to go check out. Well, part of that is trouble. She's your best friend, right? S would you think of helping her out as trouble? <laughs> of course not. Exactly. It's the same for Manami. Wow, you're really helpless, aren't you? Come on, hurry up and get dressed. Manami's waiting in the lobby. Hi, I just finished checking us out. Thanks, Manami. It's nothing. Oh, and also, I just got a message from my boyfriend. He says he wants to treat us all to lunch. He wants to meet you two. Oh, that's wonderful. Manami, I'd love to. Actually, I was going to take Haru on a tour around the town after this. Sorry. Really? What? You know, since Haru didn't get to go into the women's baths. I just felt really bad for her, so I thought I'd take her out for a bit. Then I'll go too. No, no, go meet your boyfriend. It's your birthday weekend. I'm sure he's got something planned for you. But... Haru, will you be okay? What, me? Yeah, we'll be fine. I'll be fine, Manami. Say hi to your boyfriend for us. Okay, then. Makes me happy to see you two getting along. Take good care of Haru for me, Erika. I'll head out first, then. See you. See you later, Manami. So, we're taking a tour around town? Nah, I just figured that you wouldn't want to meet up with Manami's boyfriend. But if I didn't say anything, you would have just agreed, right? Probably. Hopeless. Anyway, I do actually want to take a look around town. Not sure where to go, though. Oh, good morning, Miss Nagata, yes? The lady who upgraded our room. Thank you very much for yesterday. It was nothing. If you're planning to visit the town, may I suggest the hot spring in this flyer? Oh? They have lovely private baths that can be reserved by anyone. My older sister often goes there. Your older sister? Yes, she also finds it hard to go into women's baths when there are many people about. Oh, is your sister also... Yes. So I just wanted to say, I hope you have a wonderful time. Have... Oh yeah, have. A wonderful time here at the hot springs. Forgive my intrusion. Wow, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Guess we should take the lady's advice. Want to check out the reserved baths? Yeah, that'd be nice. 
Let's go then. Erica and two. The world can be kind too. I wonder how many endings there are. There was also these hearts up here, and nothing happened with these as we went. Oh, I got an achievement. Erica and two. Oh, wow. There's a lot of ends. Erica and two. Good end. Normal end. Bad end. Erica and one. Manami and two. Manami and one. That's interesting. I'm interested to try to find out what all the other ends are, but I'm not going to do it on here, but, um... This was a nice little slice of life thing, and I learned some stuff, friends. I learned some things about the culture, um... Um... The trans culture in Japan, and, and also just the LGBTQ culture in general in Japan. That stuff that I didn't know. And, man, it really is a little bit of an eye-opener for, um... Some stuff there too. Let's see what this news is. On uh, now on Steam. That's how we just played it, and it was free. Uh, so again, um, One Night Hot Springs. This is free, a free game on Steam to play. There's lots of endings, so I recommend playing it too. Um, I might play this again off air just to see what what all kind of endings I can get. I'm just interested, but um. This was really nice. This is really enjoyable, but that might be just because I didn't get a bad end. <laughs> so I guess we'll we'll, we'll kind of see. But um, yeah, this was really cool. Um, so let's get to our ratings. So as far as um, does it play, um, I'm going to give it a three. Uh, the gameplay is simple, which is why I'm giving it a three. It's just a visual novel. It's fine. Um, you you don't make that many choices, and you really don't do anything else. So I think just giving it the average run of the mill three is is totally suitable for this game. It's a three. Does it fun? Um, you learn some things, and um, you it's got cute characters. It's it's very well written, very well developed, and and all of that stuff. Um, but it wasn't like, you know, something that I was just like, oh man, this is so great. I, can't, I like I enjoy this so much. It was just it was cute. It was something that you know I just I want to see the other endings, but it isn't something that I want to replay again to to re experience it again. I just want to know what the other options were. So. I think I'm going to give this straight down the middle again also. I'm going to give that a 3 for Does It Fun. I enjoyed the world. I enjoyed the, the little time I spent in it. And I like what it did. It was just, you know, it was running the mill as far as that stuff goes. So, combine them both, we get a solid 6. Um, so that's where we are. Again, One Night Hot Springs, free on Steam. Um... Check it out. If you did like this, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, if you learned something from this, I would love to hear about that in the comments. Um, as long as, like, be kind. Be kind when I say that. So, the world can be kind too. That includes you. Be kind. I, I'm not going to tolerate any kind of trolling or anything dis disrespectful in the comments. So, don't troll. I won't tolerate it. It'll get deleted, so don't even bother. Um, legitimately, if you learned something, I want to know. I, I would love to have that conversation. Especially if you're a member of this community, I really want to know your opinion on this game. And um, if you are interested in it and you've played it yourself, and if, if you relate to these experiences or anything, I definitely want to talk more about that in the comments and things like that. Um, or if you hop into our NerdSlot Discord, I'd love to talk to you more. Um, so there we go. I love you. Love you guys so much. You guys, you girls, you everybody else. Any of you. I love you so much. I hope you enjoy your Friday. Because um, if you don't respect your Friday, I'm not, I'm not going to let you in the women's baths. Okay? No women's baths for you. I'll see you on the next one.